It's Michelle and welcome back to my channel so I'm back with another video for you guys and this is the look I am doing and you guys I filmed this look yesterday I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I'll film something and I don't like it and if I don't like it you guys I cannot post it because I'm not gonna post something I don't like for you guys to watch okay and I filmed the look yesterday and I wasn't really feeling it I wasn't getting my life from it um, my lip was a little different in the video and my hair was different you guys know I switch up my wigs and the wig that I was wearing yesterday in the video with this makeup look it just wasn't giving me life and then I put this wig on after I was done filming with the same makeup look and I was like wait a minute I'm getting my entire life from this and I switched the lip up and I posted it on my snap and my Instagram and you guys were really feeling it and you guys were loving the wet hair look um, so you guys I really wasn't going for the wet um, Kim K hair look when I posted it on snap. I literally just finished washing my wig That was it and I just put it on so that's why my hair was wet But then you guys are feeling the hair and saying Kim K vibe So I was just like, okay, let me just try and do that whole wet hair look for you guys So the hair is definitely Kim K inspired today So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look then please continue to watch this video Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a quick hair tutorial for you guys So I'm just grabbing my paddle brush and I'm just brushing through my hair and then I'm I'm gonna section it off as you can see half of my hair is already done this is so easy so what you're gonna need is a water bottle so that's a water bottle and I'm just gonna wet my hair don't make it soaking damp and wet to the point where you're dripping and soaking in water you don't want that okay so now I'm gonna go in with some bio silk you can also use argan oil I don't really use a lot of products in my wigs but this is probably the only product I use whenever I feel like adding a little oil to it but yeah I'm just gonna add this in my hair and I'm just gonna put actually quite a lot so when I do put the gel the hair doesn't look dry and frizzy it's just gonna make it look you know really nice and still have a nice little shine to it so now I'm gonna go in with the eco styler gel and I'm just gonna run it through my entire hair so all over the hair when my hair is dry it's not gonna look frizzy it's just gonna have that wet hair look even though it's dry if that makes any sense and I didn't have any mousse so I used some hairspray and I didn't use a lot I just used quite a small amount of hairspray and that's pretty much all I did you guys to achieve this wet hair look it's really really easy to achieve so that's it and we're gonna jump right into the makeup so now that the hair is completed we can move on to the makeup so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows So now I'm going to go in with a concealer that is way lighter than my skin tone and I'm just going to use this to carve out my brows. You can use any concealer of your choice, use whatever you love. I always switch it up. Today I'm using the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm going in with the MAC Definer Brush and this is the 212 brush. Okay, so now I'm going to apply a base all over my eyelid. I like to use concealer. I could use the same concealer as my base, but I love using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as a eyeshadow base. Um, this is in the shade Tan Sand. This is what I also use to do my highlight as well. So I'm just going to use it all over the eyelid, and this will act as a base for the eyeshadow. And I'm just going in with my Damp Beauty Blender Sponge to blend in the concealer. I'm gonna take a translucent powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that all over the eyelid. This will set and lock the concealer into place. So yesterday I actually filmed this video and I didn't like how it turned out yesterday because I wasn't feeling my hair yesterday with the look. So yesterday's video was actually a first impression video, review type of video with this palette. Oops. <laughs> Um, yeah, with this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Prism Prism palette. Uh, so it was supposed to be first impression review type, but that did not work out. Wasn't really feeling the video, so I decided to film it over. So this won't be a first impression review type of video anymore because I already used it yesterday. So I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here. This is Saturn and it is a warm brown eyeshadow. I love those warm browns and this is going to be my transition color. So I'm just going to pop that into my crease and just blend that circular motions. I'm also going to go in with this single eyeshadow. This is a brick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I also like this as a transition shade. I'm just going to blend it in with the first shadow that I applied. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna take the eyeshadow parallel and I'm just gonna pop that into my crease as well. I'm just gonna place this a little bit above and just carve out the crease, make it look a bit more defined. The brush that I'm using, this is by Makeup Addictions. This is the soft crease brush. This is my first time using their brushes. I'm gonna go back into the single eyeshadow brick and just place this above the crease, kind of blend out and buff out the darker shade just so it doesn't look too harsh. Did you guys hear that? Like, it is so noisy, and I apologize for the noise. It's so hard to do talk through videos. Like, there's a lot of construction going on where I live. I'm gonna go back into the Prism palette, and I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow Throne, which is more of a shimmer eyeshadow it has like a greenish blue tone to it and i'm just going to place that on my eyelid i'm also going to wet my brush because the eyeshadow applies um the shimmer eyeshadow is going to look so much more pigmented and it's just going to apply really easy when i wet my brush and look at that you guys like how gorgeous is that Now I'm going to go in with this teeny tiny precise brush. This is from Makeup Addictions. I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow brick and I'm just going to place it at the inner portion of my eyes. And I'm going in with the uh, soft crease brush from Makeup Addictions. I'm just going to place it right here. So I'm going to go back and grab the eyeshadow parallel and just place it at the outer corner of the eye, kind of pull it into the green. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes with this palette. These brushes are always pretty good. I always like them. I have so many of them right now. And I'm just going to pat that right at the outer corner. And just pull it into the green a bit. Now we're going to move on to liner. I'm going to take Black Track Fluid Liner Gel Liner and create a wing liner. I hate doing my liner on camera because it is really hard for me to do it on camera. I need to be like up close in my mirror, but I'm going to try it today. But I might step off if it doesn't work out. Yeah, I'm already struggling. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some mascara. I was literally just searching all over for my mascara that I always use, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use this mascara today. This is the YSL uh, Mascara super fancy <laughs> so these are the lashes that i'll be wearing today these are by flutter lashes and i believe they're called royal or royalty i'm not sure but i'll put the correct name in a description bar down below so i'm just gonna pop that on Now that the eyes are somewhat completed, we're going to move on to the skin. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Camo. This is a color corrected pen. Okay, this is in the shade Apricot, Apricot, however you say that. And I'm just going to use this to color correct. You guys see me doing this all the time. So I'm going to try and like speed through this a little bit. If you're new to my channel, I always color correct because, honey, I have dark circles and I do not want to see them when I have my makeup on shining right through my foundation. So for my foundation today, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Foundation Stick in the shade 173 and Fenty Beauty in the shade 370. Now I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush to blend. Now we're going to move on to highlight. I'm going to take one of my favorite concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So now we're going to go in with our Damp Beauty Blender sponge and we're going to blend that and beat our face down to the ground, okay? Okay, so now that I applied my liquid foundation and then my concealer, I'm going to add some powder because Lord knows... Excuse me. Stop it. Okay, so Lord knows I need... Yeah, because Lord knows I need the powder to lock this into place because it will not stay on my face if I don't use powder I need to add some powder to this the powder that I'm using is the Sephora micro smooth powder in the shape shade shade what the heck I can't say the word shade in the shade deep mahogany and I'm using my Mac 134 brush to apply that powder I'm just gonna apply that all over my skin my face so I'm just buffing that into the skin to set my under eyes, I don't really like to bake um, because sometimes when I bake, under my eyes just look like elephant skin, if you guys know what I'm saying. Like, 
you know when the elephant has like you know when the elephant is like playing in mud all day and the mud just dry up on the elephant's skin and then everything just looks dry and wrinkly that's what happens to under my eyes when I bake sometimes but today I'm going to bake I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna bake but today I'm gonna to do a little bit of baking under the eyes um, first I'm gonna apply the same powder under my eyes I like using a powder that is the same shade as my skin first and then go in with the lighter powder now you can use whatever powder works best for you. If you're already using a powder that you love, go ahead and do so. A lot of people use the Laura Mercier. I don't really care for it. I used to use it, but it just looks really ridiculous under my eyes. It looks dry. And I love using my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. So that's the banana powder. And this is my Ket powder, the translucent powder. I actually mix them together because I like how it looks when I mix them together. The banana is a little bit yellow and this one is just pure translucent. It doesn't have a flashback, which is good. So I just put my powder on this palette right here and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. My sponge is still damp. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty uh, Powder Contour and Highlight Kit. I'm gonna use this to contour today. I'm a little scared. I've used it in the past, but maybe I was a little heavy-handed and it looked a little crazy, but I'm gonna give it another try today. So I'm gonna take this shade right here because this one is a little bit too warm. I like to use my bronzer to warm up my skin, not this one. But I'm just gonna add a small amount on my brush, like the tiniest amount. And I'm just gonna pop that into the cheeks. So I'm gonna take my matte mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm just gonna use it to bronze up my skin. I'm gonna use the MAC 134 brush. Yes, come through, mm, bitch. Okay, now I'm getting my life. Guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and snatch my cheekbones. I've never used this brush before, but I've seen a few people using, you know, brushes like this to do their little powder contour. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. This is the uh, Makeup Addictions. Uh, what is this? Their Master Chiseler. Okay, Master Chiseler. So I just apply some of my powder onto that. Okay guys, I don't know how I feel. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna just use my sponge and do this. I think I do a better job with my sponge. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to what I know and use the sponge. So just add some powder to my sponge and I'm gonna snatch the nose today. Haven't done this in a while. <laughs> We're going for a full glam today, eh, guys? Like, full out. I usually try not to leave the powder on for super long under my eyes, you guys, because I told you I don't want my under eyes to look like elephant skin. But it's looking pretty good, okay. It's looking real nice. I'm gonna use the Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This stuff really makes the skin look nice and dewy, especially when you use a lot of powder and you go in with some, some of this. It makes the skin look nice and dewy. Um, I love using Fix Plus as well, but this one gets me extra dewy. But I don't use this a lot because she's a little too expensive for me, okay? So I only pull her out every once in a while. So I'm just gonna apply some of that on my skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and complete the eyes. I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, and I'm gonna grab that dark brown eyeshadow right here, parallel, and I'm gonna run it along my bottom lash line, and I'm using a, uh, I'm using my matte definer brush. So we're trying to get it as close to the lash line as possible. And just stop right here. And don't worry, it doesn't have to look perfect right now because we're gonna blend it later. Now I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow Saturn and I'm also gonna run that along my bottom lash line. I'm using the same brush, so make sure you wet the brush off first. And I'm gonna go in with Makeup Addiction Small Pencil Brush and just blend it. I'm gonna go back into the palette. I'm gonna grab this vanilla shade. The eyeshadow is Unity and I'm gonna place that at the inner corner of the eyes. That's really gonna brighten up the eye. I'm gonna go back into the dark brown eyeshadow and place it along the bottom lash line. 
By the way, I'm using a lot of Anastasia stuff because I just got a whole bunch of new Anastasia stuff and I just want to use them. This video is not sponsored by them. I'm just using the products because I just want to use them. I like them. <laughs> but I'm going to use the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sugar. So I'm actually going to use two shades, Marshmallow and Butterscotch. So I'm going to go in with Butterscotch first. Okay, Glow. Look at that. Come all the way through. Yes, honey. Okay. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of that marshmallow. Not like I need any more glow, but let's see. Ooh, looking like a glazed donut. And I'm gonna go in with my MAC 134 brush because that's looking a little harsh. <laughs> I'm also using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Radiant. I love this blush kit because there's a lot of peachy shades and I love peachy shades. Okay, so now that the face is snatched, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and we're almost finished. So I'm gonna line my lips with one of my favorite lip pencils, especially when I'm doing nude, matte cork. For my lipstick today, I'm gonna to use Dose of Colors. This is the Desi and Katie collab lipstick. This is More Creamer Please. This is a really gorgeous nude. Like, hello nude. Okay, so you could just leave it just like this, but I'm gonna add just a little gloss. This is by Fenty Beauty. I really like this gloss. So this is pretty much the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you do. Comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you guys and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.